Israel has reoccupied the Gaza Strip in its entirety, and it has destroyed it almost entirely, so that Gaza is no longer fit for life. Most homes have been destroyed. The same applies to most buildings, health facilities, educational facilities, economic buildings, roads, churches, mosques, water plants, electric plants, and sanitation plants. Anybody who goes to Gaza who'd, who'd known it before would not recognize it anymore. It's no longer there. 75% of everything in Gaza has been fully destroyed. If Israel thinks that it would get away from being held accountable and punished for these crimes, then it is delusional. The international community must immediately impose sanctions on Israel. The massacres, the crimes, the genocide that Israel has been perpetrating against our people since its inception in 1948 to this very day will not go unpunished. Ladies and gentlemen, even with Hamas's greatly diminished military capability, the terrorists still exercise some governing power in Gaza by stealing the food that we enable aid, ad, sorry, that we enable aid agencies to bring into Gaza. Hamas steals the food, and then they hike the prices. They feed their bellies, and then they fill their coffers with money that they extort from their own people. They sell the stolen food at, at exorbitant prices. And that's how they stay in power. Well, this too has to end, and we're working to bring it to an end. And the reason is simple. Because if Hamas stays in power, it will regroup, rearm, and attack Israel again and again and again, as it is vowed to do. So Hamas has got to go. Just imagine, for those who say, well, Hamas has to stay, it has to be part of a post-war Gaza. Imagine, in a post-war situation in World War II, imagine allowing the defeated Nazis in 1945 to rebuild Germany. It's inconceivable. It's ridiculous. It didn't happen then. It's not going to happen now. Don't miss out. Log on to oneindia.com for more updates.